today we're going to have a look at someone's garden. Her name is Buzz and it's one of the most beautiful gardens I have seen. She calls it a rainbow garden because it has different levels and different colors. She's hung um, beautiful hanging baskets on her trees but just full of colors. The beautiful thing also, she has squirrels, she has birds, she even had a mongoose the other day. But the beauty about it, it's an ecosystem that is unbelievable. So my name is Alice and I'm the Red Soul Gardener. Let's go. Hi Buzz, how are you? Alice, hi. hi. Welcome to my rainbow garden. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me. Look at this, yes, the colours. It's my pleasure to share this with somebody else who appreciates gardening. Yeah, yeah I thank think you. I believe, I believe you love gardening. Oh, I love gardening. So, yeah. as I do, as you can see, so yeah. I get a lot of pleasure out of it. Great. Tell me something about your garden because it's fascinating. You've got so much color and I think the basis is these beautiful fig trees. How did you get them in? Well, I was living on Paponi Road with a lovely big garden yeah. and when I had to move, this was a bomb site. I mean, it was, they were still building, I bought off plan. So it was just rubble and sheds. And I thought, my goodness me, I, I, I can't live like this. Mm -hmm. You know, I need some greenery. Yes. And a friend of mine was visiting from Dubai and she said, well, why don't you try and transplant some of the ficuses that you put in your other garden here? Mm -hmm. So we thought, OK, well, we'll have a go. So we dug around the, the, the roots, mm -hmm. put them into sacking. I hired a pickup and I bought four of these in a pickup. And I actually planted them in big pots. OK. Because as we yeah, know, ficus, ficus are very are, invasive. Yeah. So I thought, well, we'll try big pots, which we did. We dug into the ground okay, quite to deeply. Keep the roots inside, yes, to keep yeah. quite deeply into the ground. We put the pots in there, yes. and hopefully the roots would then go deep down instead yes. of sideways. Yes. Anyway, initially they, they all died on me, and I thought that was an experiment, but it didn't mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. And a few months later, all the lovely green shoots appeared. I have breakfast on the veranda every morning mm -hmm. and I'm looking out at the lovely garden but it's all eye level yes and one day I thought well it would be quite nice a to hide some of the trunks of the tree yes. and have a bit of color up there so I started my baskets which seem to have worked very successfully so far beautiful. and every once in a while I stick in another color yeah. and a bit of that so uh, this has only been going about four or five months and you've got all sorts of different things here. I see yep. the donkey's tail, donkey's I see tail, the bruinia, begonias. The blue one, then I've got yeah. The yeah. begonia, lots of yeah. begonias, because begonias are so easy. Yeah. Uh, spiders plants up there. Lovely. So, uh, and diplodemias up there as Beautiful. well. Beautiful. Anything that has a different type of colour, yeah. uh, I've put in. So beautiful, beautiful. So how do you water this? Uh, because it's a, quite far. Well we, no, well, we have a hose pipe, yes. which we're able to, to get uh, up there. But if there's not enough pressure, my gardener has a bamboo rod. A bamboo rod? And he ties it to the, to the tip and he, he, he sprays it with the God, bamboo rod. That's so, so innovative. It is, absolutely. it is. And then you have all these birds. I've oh, just, you know, I just see them everywhere. They're, every, they're full. I mean, yeah. they're mostly little mannequins, bronze mannequins. Yes. But I get the weavers, I get the pigeons, I get seed eaters as well. Okay. Squirrels. But I'm filling these up virtually, you know, every, every day. day. Every yeah. day it's empty, you yeah. know, as you can see along there. So, you know, it's great pleasure. I mean, we have the wildlife here as, as such. Because it's such an enclosed garden, I yeah. don't tend to get bigger birds. Yes. Which is fine for me because then, they, you know, a lot of them are predators. Yes. So I'm very happy with my small birds and they come and sit in the bath and drink in the, there. So, no, it gives me great, great pleasure to sit here in the mornings, sipping my coffee, yeah. uh, come rain or sunshine, yeah. and just enjoying this. And tell me, you've got all these poncettias here. And look at that. I mean, this color I have never seen. Well, tell me I, about it. I bought this outside village market about five or six years ago, yeah. in a tiny little pot like this yes. for Christmas time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it died on me and I gave up on it. And then one day I thought, well, I'll put it into the, into the ground. Yeah. And then virtually one morning I woke up and I had this. Beautiful. I had no idea. And was it, it always was, this colour? No, it was much, much lighter than that. It was yeah. never as bright as that, ever, yeah. ever. 
but it has just evolved virtually. Beautiful. And I think that's also the same part of the plant. I took yeah. cutting from it and, and eventually it'll change colour. Yeah. As you can see already, it's beginning to become much lighter Beautiful. down below. Okay, Alice, I'll take you up my, to my little patio uh, oh, corner wow. up, up there, which is by the kitchen. And what is this? Oh, these are my rain gauges. Rain I'm, gauges? I'm fascinated of how much <laughs> rain we have each time it, it pours. So yeah. I have three of them, all in, in inches and all going up to five inches yeah. because quite yeah. often we get a storm, yeah. three to five, four inches. And I'm fascinated with how much we get each time. I used to record it and compare it with other friends oh, all, over, yeah, all, yeah. Over, all over town. Yeah. I think that's Definitely really interesting. Tomorrow. Right, Alice, let me show you my little patio garden, Beautiful. which is this. just outside the kitchen. And oh. again, I just like a bit of colour. I have lots of anthuriums, which are permanently in bloom. Beautiful. And that's a purple one. That's a little purple one, yes, oh, over there. Nice. And again, I, I had that. That was originally a bird hanging um, ornament because yeah. I used to have water but yeah. it never worked and I suddenly used it for my baskets. I love it so because it also brings the height That's of the right. colours yes. and then you've got these beautiful palms. Oh. No well uh, that was a wed this tall one was a wedding present 30 odd years ago Serious. and it's still going yeah, strong it's still but going that's, strong. that's over 30, 35 yeah. years ago and then of course I've got my golden palm here yes which do so well here and in parts yeah. and I love yeah. the colour you know the well of course is... they're known as golden I have yeah. one upstairs but yeah. it's totally green because it doesn't see the sun, sun but, so, but is... they are well well named yeah yeah lovely beautiful Thank you so much, uh, Buzz. Really, I've really enjoyed myself. I've got so many new ideas for myself and my garden, and I really do appreciate this. I love the whole rainbow look because, you know, I never realized that a lot of us is that we do put things on eye level, yes. but when you go slightly above, mm -hmm. then it makes the garden more interesting. Well, it adds a different concept yes. to it, actually. Yes. Suddenly, yes. a different dimension. Beautiful, beautiful. And um, yeah, integrate some animals and squirrels and things in my garden you've given me so many good tips well I hope yeah so. you yeah. have you have and I really thank you that it's we're been a here pleasure having you, sharing yes. this with you. thank you thank so you. much pleasure. yeah so thank you fellow gardeners for watching this channel don't forget to like and to share and also subscribe to my channel and also invite your friends and don't forget to press that notification button so anytime we get a new episode you'll always be notified thank, thank you. you so so much well, Alice, it's been a pleasure to share something that I really love and yeah. enjoy. Thank yeah. you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you.